Halloween Long Dog by Jessica Neal. It's Halloween night, hooray, hooray, a funny long dog's favorite holiday. The last day of October is Halloween's date. He was so excited he couldn't wait. But first, there's something important to do. He needs to dress up like someone scary, but who? In his owner's cupboard, he finds an old sheet. It has two holes for his eyes and space for his feet. There's only one problem with his ghost outfit. He had to solve it since it would not fit. He barked as loud as he possibly can. His owner showed up with scissors in hand. You are such a funny long dog, she laughed and said. Let's cut holes for your tail and the ears on your head. She drew a big ghost mouth right onto the sheet. The problem was solved, now time to hit the street. It's dark outside and very creepy. Everyone's awake and no one's sleepy. Orange lights are shining on porches. Some even have skull and fire torches. What he saw next gave him a fright. A lot of things will on this scary night. A pumpkin head with the eyes that burn bright. The jack-o'-lantern looks so fierce it might bite. Trigger tree! The long dog heard some children sing. After they rang the doorbell of the house with a swing, one kid was dressed as a pirate and another like a witch. One looked like a zombie with wounds, some blood, and a stitch. With a boo, the owner quickly opened the door. The kid screamed and nearly fell to the floor. They all started laughing as the owner held out great treats, some lollipops, chocolate bars, and skeleton sweets. Down the road, Long Dog saw a scarecrow on a bike. It turned out to be his best friend, Mike. Hello, my friendly ghost friend, Mike said. Are you also celebrating the Night of the Dead? Woof, woof! The Long Dog barked and agreed. It was clear that he loved Halloween indeed. He showed off his costume that was a scary ghost. Then he had to run to the nearest lamppost. On top of the lamppost flew witches and bats. From the lamppole hung spider webs and rats. Spider webs went all the way to Mr. Ray's house, right to the door onto the head of a mouse. From the door came the most terrible sounds, witches screaming and the howling of hounds. Children stood by the door, frozen and still. A ghost appeared in the window and gave him a chill. A loud thunder shook the windows and the children yelled. They were arguing about who was going to ring the bell. The long dog jumped and pressed the bell with his paw. From the mail stall came a hairy claw. Trick or tree! The children sang with fright. The dog showed bravery on this scary night. The dog felt proud of the bravery he had shown. As a reward, the hairy claw gave him a bone. With a bone in his doggy ghost mouth, he ran to a graveyard called Down South. Lick Handle stood burning in a line. A cold chill went up the funny dog's spine. Skulls on tombstones all covered in blood. From a wooden coffin, he heard a big thud. Holding a water gun, an ugly witch popped out, playfully shooting some water on the doggy's snout. It was time to head home after a night of fun. Past zombies, mummies, and a man with a gun. Goodbye, witches, scarecrows, and cats, he said as he barked at some ugly bats. He thought of the night as he curled up in bed, a wonderful celebration of the living and the dead. Thinking of all the thrilling things he's seen, he cannot wait for next year's Halloween.